This is a Druid's Duel, as you can see. Uh, this game is uh, the result of a Kickstarter I backed, which was um, recommended to me by, by one of the co-authors on my HTML5 book. Uh, he worked with the guy that launched the Kickstarter. Now I did do a video of this game using Wine back in you know, April 2014, but uh, today it's been released on Linux. Um, well, on all platforms, but significantly on Linux. Um, on Steam. So let's see. I'll start a new campaign. I'll go for the easy level, just so we can see what's going on. So it's turn-based strategy. That's the that's the uh, basis of it. So you have different characters that have different powers. So this archer guy can uh, transform into an eagle and attack any square, but that costs 10 mana and I have 12 mana. And the amount of mana you generate each turn depends on how many squares you've controlled. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out his archer and then grab these two squares there like that. See how it goes. All right. Hmm. This is a bonus, bonus five mana. But uh, I can't get that. So he's probably going to grab that, which will give him an advantage. Can I grab that one? I don't know how I can grab that one. Maybe I need to build a bridge. You can build bridges. So these these spirit men can can turn into foxes, hmm. which allows you to grab many squares, which is obviously very handy. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, so I've got more squares than he has. It should give me an advantage, and he's left his man huh. within range of my dude. It should be. Huh. Let's do hmm. that. Oh, I can place another character. Let's have another archer. Go. So now I'm dominating. You see, once once the balance has shifted. Huh. Huh. It's quite hmm. hard to get back into it. There you go, defeat. Although, you know, I am playing on easy. So that's the base of the game. There are, oh, three, whatever they are. There are other units that uh, you've not seen here uh, that have different special powers. We're in story mode at the minute. Well, is it story mode? What would you call it? I don't know. You're right. So this is awkward because he starts with an archer and you don't. Ah. But that, grabbing that lets me, ooh, I could get the other one, let's see. No, let's place an archer. Ah. There we go, let's do that. Hmm. Uh, right, 
So claiming territory is always important because that's what generates the mana. I want to get a rose. I expect he might get them. I don't know, he's generated a man. So let's see. Alright, fox him up. There we go, I'll get some bonus mana. Which will then let me use my archer to take out him. I'm moving into range, there we go. Can I do anything else? I can place another dude. Cheeky as that. Save five for next time. Excellent. Hmm. So the objective is the objective is to huh. capture all the um, all the territory. three stars that time so that's the single player game obviously it's more of a challenge if you don't play it on easy but there's also online now I was playing this a little earlier and uh, I started a game without really realizing what I was doing all right and then I quit the game which probably upset the poor lad who was, who was playing against me but the game's still sitting there waiting, it's turn based. So he can come back and play his turn any time and I can reconnect in and play my turn. Um, although, you know, chances are it's my fault. I've messed this up, so sorry 
who was this dude I was playing. Who was it? It did say, didn't it? No. There's an online portal where it will tell you who your game is against. But I suspect... Uh, four corners. I suspect he's long gone now. So yeah, all in all, it's a uh, interesting strategy game. There's the uh, campaign mode, which I was trying to talk about earlier. Local multiplayer, online multiplayer. It's an interesting, interesting uh, strategy, but at the same time, you know, not too complicated to pick up. Uh, so, if you like turn-based strategy, this is a game worth checking out.